actually doing this? A grueling, you know, night shoot in the in the middle of winter, which people hated. The girls hated it. People were whinging and complaining. Oh shit! No. Being in that uncomfortable state or place got them angry and ultimately got them to the place they needed to be to do this film, which is so gritty and so hardcore. And what I'd noticed within the film industry of late is that the female heroes or heroines are becoming much more predominant than the male heroes. Now, obviously, with Uma Thurman, with Kill Bill, Angelina Jolie, with Tomb Raider, etc., etc. So I thought, well, why not take that, that gang principle but make them all women and throw them into an environment where they are going to have to uh, take justice into their own hands and you know it had I mean, to me it had to be a revenge story and it had to be gritty and gruesome and it had to be horror and it had to be horror for the simple reason that that's not only the genre i grew up with it's the it's the genre i love what i'd seen uh happen with saw and and, and many other films as well that are set within the one space like pi or cube you know one room films <laughs> It can be interpreted sometimes as a, as a film that's you're almost a fly on the wall or you're an observer or it, or it could be a documentary sometimes or it, you know I wanted that real effect I wanted it to be gritty I wanted it to look like it could even be a snuff film and it's like where did this footage come from and also shooting in the environment that's so old it possibly could look like a film that came out of the 70s. I told her about, about this idea that I'd been tinkering with about, you know, girls and revenge and horror and all these things. And she said, you know, we should just do that film. Um, and I just knew straight away she was the lead. She'd wanted to, she'd wanted to act in a decent sized role for a while and this was her moment. Okay, Kat's character is basically, uh, she's the ringleader of the group and she also instigates um, most of the events that happen in the film. Um, she's quite strong, she doesn't have much fear. I've got this great idea for a feature film I really want to make. And then he told me, I read the script, he told me the storyline. I thought this is fabulous, I really want to do something that's um, all about women and a revenge film and a horror that's from a female's perspective, there's not many of them, so I thought that was really great. And also the whole concept that it was set in one location and it's a dressed up stage play and when you go to film school you get told that's the best way to start with your first feature dressed up stage stage play all in one location so i thought he's he's on to it he's clever he knows what he's doing here and this is an, a marketable story so i think i think he's on to a good thing what's it like playing emily um yeah it's pretty cool it's an interesting character and a chance to explore a whole lot of things i wouldn't normally do in real life Crystal's the most barbaric character and probably most violent, I believe, in the in the film. And I needed an actress who uh, understood m me, who understood me and my material, who could go to those levels. So having my sister act in that role was perfect because straight away she knew that if it was going to be hardcore, she'd go the distance and she wouldn't feel bad about it or she wouldn't have inhibitions about it. She could just do it because she understands my genre. Tell me who you are. I'm Sarah Hill, Nathan's little sister. And I play Crystal, who's um, a bit sadistic, but um, she also is a nurse. My character is Imogen, and she's the same one of the group. She's the one that everyone loves because she goes in and does all the good things that the others forget to do. Imogen's character tends to go against her a lot, and that really pisses her off, and I think could almost intimidate her a little bit in some respect, um, which is why she always has to put her down. Um, but she is also very insane and she does get, she's very emotional as well. She's very up and down. Um, her story is uh, very intense and quite horrific and traumatic. So, which drives her to do pretty much everything that she does throughout the night. And she's, she pretty much knows she's going to end her life, so she doesn't really care. 
Obviously the big kind of X factor to shooting was who was going to play the guy. An extremely challenging part where this person was going to have to be strung up in some serious pain, being uncomfortable, cold, you know, like his hands are up like this, you know, I mean, it's just, just some serious hard stuff. And uh, to be honest, most of the male actors that I know probably could not have coped with that. It's also not a nice role to have to play because, you know, you're playing this perpetrator, you're playing this serial rapist. And I knew uh, straight away that as soon as I started to cast this role, no one was going to do it. <laughs> My character's an absolute bastard. I probably wouldn't be doing this film if it wasn't for Candace. Uh, Candace actually requested that uh, if I could do this film, and that's because she felt comfortable with it, with me. And um, Nathan first told me about it probably six weeks ago, and it took me probably about a week and a half to make a decision. Uh, at first, I thought, oh, man, this guy's a absolute bastard and I just I just don't know if I've, I've got an enemy to actually play the character. He hadn't acted for quite a while, he'd had a small part in Hide and Seek but then uh, the last time we'd act, he'd acted any, for anything for me was years but it was 10 years ago or something when we'd done The Hidden. So uh, it was a matter of sort of him getting back into the groove and coming up to speed with the rest of the girls, which in the end he did, and by the end of the film, he absolutely blew me away. Going through all the, that physical pain gave him that motivation to actually be this prick of a character just for that moment, which was incredible, because if you meet him in, re in real life, he's the nicest guy you've ever met in your life. Oh, what did you have again? What did you have again?